All right, so I have good news and I have bad news. I'll start with the bad news. The bad news is I upgraded Dioxys to the 0.7 alpha in my app. And unfortunately, it's still not possible to add an app icon. I don't know if that's even like on the roadmap because nobody from Dioxys has replied to anything that I've posted or said in these videos about the app icon. So I'm not sure if they're working on it and it's gonna come in the real point seven or what's happening with that. But right now it really sucks for app developers who are trying to use Dioxys because they'll build their whole app like I did and then not be able to release it because you can't release an app without an icon. So it's a huge issue right now in Dioxys, a massive issue that means essentially right now you cannot create a mobile app with Dioxys. You can create one, you just can't ever release it to anybody. So that's the bad news. However, I did find somewhat of a solution. It's not a great solution, but it is a solution that will at least allow you to put some kind of app icon onto your app and then be able to release it. So I'll show you here the code that I added. So when you bundle an app with Dioxys, you'll end up with just the app here and normally it won't have an icon like this one does. The way that I got this icon here was to go into the show package contents and open this info.plist file. In here, I added this. So add this key, CF bundle icons, make it addict, then add another key IS graphic icon configuration, another dict, and then these keys, IS enclosure color, IS symbol color, and IS symbol name. And what these are, so this is the background color, the enclosure color, the symbol color is the color of the icon, and then the symbol name, if you go to SF symbols, so this is an app that you can download from Apple. I don't know if it's in the app store, if you have to go in like the developer page or what, but you can get this app, SF Symbols, and it gives you all of these Apple symbols. And from here, you can search for any symbol you want. So I search for stopwatch since I'm making a timer app, and I took this stopwatch icon and used that. So the symbol name here is stopwatch. You could also do stopwatch.fill or whatever you could come up with in this string. And that makes a purple background with a white stopwatch icon. So now I'll show my uh, iPhone. So in the folder unobserved here, I have all my unobserved apps. And here I have the furtherance. I have two versions of furtherance in here. One is the old one, and one is the new one with just a purple background and a white stopwatch icon. And that kind of sucks. <laughs> it's not the icon that I want. I want the standard icon that I use for all of my other apps on desktop, but it'll work for now. At least I can release this to the App Store now. So that's my next step. So I'm gonna release this with this app icon and I really, really, really hope that Dioxys fixes this issue soon. It should just be, I would imagine, a pretty easy fix. I know that's coming from somebody who could go into the code and try to submit a patch myself and I'm not doing that, but maybe I will. Maybe I'll look into doing that and see if I, I don't know if I'm capable of that or not, but I might try. But hopefully that gets fixed and we can release this with the type of app icon that we want. And unfortunately this also only works on iOS. So I'm still not sure. I haven't even built this thing for Android yet. So I don't even know if Android icons actually work or if that's something that also doesn't work and I'm gonna have to do something else for that or what, but at least now I'll be able to get this thing released for iOS. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do probably in the next video. We'll see how that goes. If I can just get everything together, which I think basically the app is done. The app icon was mostly the last thing I had to do. So if I can just get all that published, that will be awesome. And I'll have Furtherance Mobile finally in the App Store, which I'm super pumped about. It'll make Furtherance Sync so much more worth the value. And yeah, so hopefully this helped you. You can at least add some kind of icon to your Dioxys app now. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.